Now you're a confident vlogger, both at home and on location, but you wanna up your production value and start bringing in the brands. I'm here to be a professional vlogger, Lok Chung. He's gonna show us exactly just how to do that. Welcome back everyone, and thanks for joining us again, Lok. Thank you. Tell us more about yourself. I'm a vlogger, and then I do camera reviews and tech reviews. And what are we gonna be covering here today? I see we have a, a studio environment set up. We are going to talk about more in-depth camera settings, getting better lighting, better audio, work with two cameras, and then how to work with brands. Amazing, I cannot wait. Lock, so taking this to the expert level, how did you take vlogging from being a hobby, your hobby, to a full-time job? Well, I think you have to be quite obviously really, really good at it. When you keep producing good video consistently, people will notice you and then you're getting more brand to work with you and eventually you can quit your day job. So yeah. consistency, keep producing and then yeah. brands will notice you. Yeah, if you're good, good enough, then people will notice you. When it comes to working with brands, there's so many brands you can work with, right, yeah. in the world of vlogging. How do you pick which one to, to go for? For me, I generally only work with brands that I actually believe. I don't want to talk about product because I got paid and I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just about getting paid. It's yeah, yeah. You need to understand the product. Yeah. Adding value to people as well that are watching. Yeah. You've been doing this for so long now. How do you keep the ideas fresh? Where do you find new ideas? I get it from all sorts of places. What kind of difficulty I faced before, then I can tell others. Also from forums, from online yeah. social media, that what kind of, what kind of thing people ask about, what other content creator make. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it will make me think, oh yeah, that's a good point, but I've got a different view. How important is the quality of the content when you're vlogging? When you have more followers, you've got to work with brands. People expect a certain level of quality. For my channel, I would make sure uh, the lighting is good, the color, things to be sharp, and good audio quality. That's really important. Fantastic. Well, I'm dying to learn about this setup that you've got here. Show me around. Yeah. Lock, how does a studio environment like this affect the quality of the video content that you produce? It's about consistency. So it's more efficient that you sit down and then everything is good to go and you know the quality is there. So how do you dress up the space to add to the production value? One thing I like is have the background a little bit further away from us. Okay, why is that? I like that it gives you a little bit of depth in the, in the image and especially with this full frame camera, you want to show off the shallow depth of view. It just looks more cinematic. Gotcha. And that's more interesting rather than just you against the background. We've got a few cameras and lighting and stuff like that. What cameras are we using? We've got two R6 Mark II. Oh, why, two why, have we got, why have we got two of them? Because we've got two people here. Okay. <laughs> so, well, now we have one camera that is on both of us, mm -hmm. and then we've got one that's just for me. <laughs> So it's much more interesting and engaging to cut between this and then that, this and that. And for audio, what, what, we, what have we got? I mean, it's not right or wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just use one of these wireless mic, mm -hmm. the power mic that you put on your collar. Okay. It's really affordable, uh, really easy to use. Or you can go with shotgun mic. And almost every time I shoot at home, I make sure there's a um, backup audio. Or if we have two cameras, just have two different mic on them. So if one of them, something happen, you still have a backup. What does the R6 Mark II offer you in terms of producing high quality content? Well, it shoots 4K and then it shoots uh, C-Log as well. Ah, so C-Log. C-Log, That yeah. sounds fancy. What is that? When you're shooting C-Log, now on the screen, it looks a little bit grey out but then it gives you a lot more flexibility when you are post-production. Does this help you improve um, video quality and also achieve high production value? Definitely, because you've got more flexibility to adjust the color. You can bring back a lot more detail from the highlight and from the shadow, 
and then the color it just look more natural and more cinematic. <laughs> we love Me, cinematic. Yeah, um, yeah, we, we love cinematic. <laughs> How do you go about matching the colors to make sure they're accurate? Uh, one thing really important is set a custom white spot. So I use one of these um, gray card for video. So set a custom white balance for both camera. Great. And you spoke about 4K. Yeah. What does that offer you? 4K also give you the flexibility that if you're producing content for different kind of social media, for example, I can shoot 4K like landscape now, but then I can crop into vertical for other kinds of uh, social media platform. Ah, so it's all about yeah. the flexibility that he yeah. offers you. Uh, you spoke about lighting. Talk to us about the lighting settings here. For me, I usually try to match the natural lighting. So if I'm sitting here, there's already this kind of ambient light. I usually have one big soft light to just make me pop a little bit from the background. And then maybe one more as a light up the shadow a little bit from this side. Usually it's that simple. So to level up your vlogging game, are there any other modes that the R6 Mark II offer? Actually, it's worth mentioning there's a new feature called Subject Only AF. You set it to focus on human. So if I'm using this camera, if I walk out of the screen, it won't focus at the background. That sounds very intelligent. Yeah. I love that. So live streaming, is that something that you do? And can we use this sort of setup? Well, actually, this R6 Mark II is perfect for live streaming because it supports UEC. That means you plug a USB cable to your computer, it immediately recognizes the R6 Mark II as a webcam. Okay. So you can use your really high quality full frame camera as the webcam. We're using two cameras here. Could you get those two cameras in? For those, you have to have some other hardware. So something like a switcher. Then you have to use the HDMI output from both cameras to gotcha. a switcher and then back into the computer. That's pretty smart. That's like a full production. I love it. Thank you so much for your time. It's been Thank super you. helpful. Any other final tips and tricks that we can take away with us? Keep on producing good results consistently and then brands will notice you and that's it. Well, <laughs> you heard it. Keep producing, be consistent, produce high quality content and brands will follow. Well, I hope you guys have picked up a thing or two to level up your vlogging game. And if you want to learn more about the Canon Learning Series, make sure you subscribe for more.